Hello friends, this is Ricky Chadda from Astro Healer. Once again, because 17th of January is approaching and we all know that it is one of the biggest transit that is taking place on the 17th of January where Saturn is moving into its uh, sign of Aquarius, the sign where Saturn is considered to be in the Mool Trikona Rashi. As far as its effect on each Lagna or each Rashi is concerned, I have already put, I have uploaded a video. You can look at the link above and you can follow it. You can uh, go and see it. And I would request you that when you are looking at that video, follow both the Lagna as well as the moon sign. Now, let us look at a very interesting thing that I want to share with you. <clears throat> Saturn <clears throat> will enter here in the sign of Aquarius on the 17th of January where the Nakshatra would be Dhanista which is ruled by Mangal or Mars. First point. When Saturn will come here, it will look from the third aspect, one, two, three, it will look at Rahu. I have always told you that whenever Saturn has got an aspect on Rahu, which happened in 2018, then 20, and COVID was because Saturn was in Sagittarius and in Gemini, we had Rahu. It was a direct aspect. Once again, not trying to create any fear, but something of that sort is in store for us. Once again, I'm repeating, Saturn in Nakshatra of Dhanishta ruled by Mars. Saturn looking at the Rashi, the uh, sign of Aries, again ruled by Mars. Saturn having its seventh aspect on Leo, ruled by Sun and the 10th aspect is on Scorpio ruled by uh, Mars again. So four planets which are known as evil planets has got a role to play over here that is Saturn, Rahu, Mars and Sun. <clears throat> now the sign of Cancer <clears throat> will have Sign of Cancer will have a Ashtam Shani or Kantak Shani and Scorpio will also enter into the Dahiya period. Look, Jupiter, one more point. Jupiter is now getting hemmed or sandwiched between the two evil planets, Saturn and Rahu. I have also uploaded a video where I have given a, a brief description of what I can see for 2023. Whenever Saturn and Rahu has played a role, plus you will soon find that Mars will also take a transit when it will get into the sign of Cancer and then again Leo. When it will go into Leo, it will have a direct aspect over here and also Rahu will aspect uh, Mars. This is going to happen in the next 3-4 months time. For the year 2023, please understand, Karma is going to play a major role. There would be lot and lot of lot of Karmas which will be played on this planet Earth. Political scenes will change. There are going to be lot of earthquakes, lot of the people will come down on street. There will be lot of huge protest. There will be a protest uh, again where farmers will take it on on roads because again Jupiter will be soon away and Jupiter after the month of uh, April will come over here with Rahu forming a Chandal Yoga. 
having an aspect of Saturn. So Saturn will check both Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter has got some uh, has uh, rules financial conditions also. It rules the bullion market. Banking sector is ruled by Jupiter. All these issues would be there and because Saturn is in Dhanishta Nakshatra having the third aspect and the tenth aspect or again on the sign of Mars, you will see lot of issues at the border. Defense army will also be activated during this period. There would be severe, severe crisis of food, unemployment and so on. On a positive side, I see that many of you will get married. Lot of your issues with your spouse will be resolved. Many of you who have not been employed for a long time will get uh, employment also, but there will be a huge, uh, huge uh, dearth of employment also. So whatever, whatever opportunity comes your way, just take it. Don't leave it. Do not, do not take any chances. This is specially for the three signs that I want to Capricorn is quite safe Cap, for Capricorn your, your your last phase of Sarasati is there Aquarius has to be a little more uh, uh, you know attentive of this phase Pisces will now begin with the Sarasati period so what I can see from this chart is that 2023 year is not going to be a very uh, smooth year rather I would say it's going to be as difficult as we have witnessed 2020 uh, and 21. This is something that I wanted to share with you once again I'm repeating look go and watch both of my videos where I have mentioned there are three videos I'm putting all three links in this video down in the description also. Watch it and I'm sure you'll be able to gather more information pertaining to this transit of Saturn, which is, believe me, is one of the biggest transit that's happening in the uh, last three years now. Thank you so much. Take care.